Okay, so before we get into changing this, let's do a simple effect to fix something that's a little bit upsetting, which is basically, hey, hey, I'm talking to myself. So I'm gonna select this track here because this is where we're gonna want to apply the audio effect. If I go over to the effects rack in this section right here, you can see that you have a whole bunch of tracks that you can add effects to. To add an effect, you just click right here. This will choose, this will allow you to choose what type of effect you have. You can see that there's a bunch of different categories. For this, we're gonna choose time and pitch, and we're gonna use pitch shifter. What this does is it allows us to change, and we can actually play this and do this in real time. How's it going? Oh, it's going good, how are you? I'm doing good, that's great. All right, so first off, let's get rid of all the other audio. So I'm gonna solo this by pressing the S button here. Now, I don't know. We just hear the audio that we want to affect. Another thing is I've got these pauses between these. So I'm gonna go up here and choose the time selection tool, which you can also do by pressing T. And then if I just select this section right here and then click on here to create looping playback, watch what happens. Oh, it's going good, how are you? Oh, it's going good. It will play this over and over again. And what's nice is, and I'm sorry, you kind of get annoyed at this after a while. Good, how are you? Oh, it's going good, how are you? Oh, it's going good, how are you? I can oh, change my semitones. Oh, it's going good, how are you? 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 Oh, it's going good, how so now we have two separate things. We can also go in here, select our rat section here, and then I'm going to solo this, and then I'm going to add an effect to this track right here. We'll do the same thing. We'll use the pitch shifter, but this time I'm going to bring it down real low. So now if we listen, Okay, so that's a good start. Let's add some other um, sections to this as well to add to it. So I'm gonna add another effect in the line here. And then what we'll do is let's add some reverb. And we'll just use a regular reverb here. Okay, you can see that there was a little Warning saying that this is going to take some time. That's because this is a bit of a, a, a larger effect track. Let's actually not use this one here. If we want to get rid of an effect, we can either turn it off this way, or if we want to get out, off out of it entirely, let's click on it, hit delete. You can also see before I hit delete that there's red, which means that it's not going to be able to run it in real time. All right, let's choose another one. So let's click here, reverb. If we choose studio reverb, it's a little bit less um, troublesome. So you can go through here and let's once again, just go through, highlight this, looping's on, play. So you can see with the reverb, it gives it a more of a sense of presence. That sounds good. Let's stop. In the next section, I'm gonna show you how to stretch this out so that it goes over the entire section and we'll also learn about looping.